Hello, everyone. We are continuing to find themes, but now we're pushing to go even further. We're trying to find multiple themes. So in order to do this, you need to read the story carefully, really understand it. Um, if you understand it, then you should be able to infer what the lesson is that um, you learned. And you should be able to explain why you think that is the lesson. And you should be able to find text evidence to support that. Now, for those of you that are pushing to go further and you're finding multiple themes, that means you would be a four. You're not just going to find one theme, but you're going to find more than one theme. And again, you're going to be able to explain why that is, the, why you think that's the theme, and provide text evidence. All right, now today our story is An Unlikely Friend. Mars family lived next door to a very grumpy old lady named Mrs. Olson. Mrs. Olson was always yelling at Mars family for making too much noise, for leaving toys in the driveway, or for letting the grass grow too long. One day, Mara was playing in the front yard when Mrs. Olson dropped a whole bag of groceries on her porch. Mara rushed to help. Despite Mrs. Olson's objections, Mara helped her to bring the groceries inside and to clean up the broken jar of applesauce. The next day, Mrs. Olson called Mara over to her house. At first, Mara was a little scared. But Mrs. Olson just wanted to her to help, wanted her to help get some boxes down from the attic. After that, Mara started helping Mrs. Olson around the house for a few times a week. Sometimes Mrs. Olson would offer her tea, and the two of them would sit at Mrs. Olson's big kitchen table and drink their tea and chat. The years passed and Mara grew up and went to college. But whenever she came home, she always made sure to visit Mrs. Olson. One day, Mara got a letter from a lawyer. Mrs. Olson had died in her sleep. Mara was sad, but also surprised. The letter said that Mrs. Olson had thousands of dollars in the bank and she had left it all to Mara. All right, so I had to read that. I understood what was going on, and now I have to think about this and infer what I think the lesson is. Well, if I look at this from Mara's perspective, I think it really paid off for her to be kind. So that's why I said the theme is it pays to be kind. All right. I think, this is part of my explanation, that Mara, because Mara went out of her way to help her neighbor, and she did it also because it was the right thing to do. And in the end, not only did Mara make a friend, but she was rewarded for her kindness. All right, when um, Mrs. Olson died, she gave her some money. So she, Mara was just a good person. She went out of her way to help others. And after Mrs. Olson died, she was rewarded. My text evidence that supports this is Mara rushed to help. Mara helped her to bring the groceries and, and to clean up the bro broken jar of applesauce. The letter said that Mrs. Olson had thousands of dollars in the bank and she left it all to Mara. So that all um, is evidence that I use to support what I think the theme is, it pays to be kind. Now that's not the only theme and what I have on my paper or on my computer is, these are not the only themes. I'm seeing from uh, your work that you are coming up with much different themes and as long as you can support them and they are two different themes, then you are working out of four. All right, my second theme is open your heart to others and you may just find an unlikely friend. 
All right. I thought this was the theme because Mrs. Olson didn't care for many people. She was really grumpy. But when she finally opened her heart to, to Mara, she found a friend that she never expected to have. And Mrs. Olson being so old and Mara being so young, they aren't likely companions. All right. My text evidence to support this was Mrs. Olson was always yelling at Mars family for making too much noise, for leaving toys in the driveway, or letting their grass grow too long. Mrs. Olson would offer tea, and the two of them would sit at Mrs. Olson's table and drink their tea and chat. I think at the beginning of the story, Mrs. Olson was very lonely, and that made her grumpy. And because Mara reached out, they became fast friends. And Mrs. Olson, what before, she would not accept anybody. She wouldn't open her heart to everyone. But um, after a few times spending uh, that time with Mara, she realized that Mara was a good person and they became friends. All right. Um, do your best today. Make sure you keep reading. Make sure you do that. 30 minutes of reading each day. Keep thinking about theme. Find it in your reading. Find it in the movies or the shows you watch. It is a lesson learned. That is your theme. Okay. Have a good day.